Welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. This is a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio, I hope you are doing amazing. Welcome and uh, let's get stuck in. I have pre-shuffled, I will shuffle a bit more. <laughs> and um, please uh, like if this reading resonates for you. I do focus uh, a lot on uh, love messages, but I will also look into what energies is happening in your environment. Um, career as well should come up. Um, your feelings, other people's feelings, and your intentions at this time. And finally, what is your future for the next two weeks and the likely outcome? For those of you that want to uh, connect with me further, uh, there is a donation link. Uh, usually then uh, I will also receive a, an email. If you have any questions or want to connect further, please uh, yeah, contact me there. And again, you don't have to um, um, well donate any uh, specific amount. Uh, you can just do the bare minimum <laughs> to send me a message and I will come back to you. So... Scorpio, I feel the cards, they do have a lot to say today. So we are still in Pisces season. As uh, very often I do, I miss the date. <laughs> I think yesterday I thought it was the 19th. <laughs> it, is, it is not. Um, anyone that uh, have fo followed me, I uh, can definitely make mistakes on times, <laughs> dates. <laughs> Various, various errors, okay? <laughs> Rest assured that I always do a readings, um, yeah, fresh. Just take me with a bucket of salt when it comes to <laughs> holding me to any times. All right. This energy should be good for you, Pisces season, but we are slowly but surely moving into airy season as well as... Um, Mercury retrograde, ooh. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio. Hmm, the page of cups. So someone is, they have feelings for you. The page of cups uh, is someone that have, a, have but a butterfly in their hand or in their cup, okay? It's that wondering, hmm. There is also someone here that feels a little bit shy. They feel restricted because they haven't, uh, reached out to you and you haven't reached out to them you know when it comes to and it's not often talked about the eight of swords and the four of uh, cups to me as well it is very much not taking action or feeling stuck in the head it's not just that uh, you know it's not like oh i'm gonna postpone it and, and delay or i'm i'm just I, I just can't can't uh, think like someone don't have to be someone with a problem per se but it's of it's not uncommon especially these days where a lot of communication is um it's that the com the way to communicate and the way to connect is often has changed and therefore i believe it can often put someone in their head especially as in a dynamic I guess we are still quite old fashioned these days that it is the, the masculine is often the one that takes the lead. OK, I don't know why that is, but it is often the case. Let's say the, the stereotypical. So I'm finding like here in this reading so far, it's something to do with uh, a person feeling shy when it comes to love, uh, when it comes to even uh, connecting. They they feel like their hands are tied. It's it's nothing to do with anything bad going on around them or they are stuck it's just that they don't know how it's, it's um, a feeling of awkwardness i'm picking up but this person is they are very independent very very much so so it's not about this person being uh, scared i'm just seeing something about their hands are tied how to communicate so this person is, um, they could also have um, a lot on, they try to balance in their life. Um, a lot of yellow, yellow here is a big thing. Yellow is also big for, for Easter. So I'm, I'm picking up that, wow, even more yellow, the, the Empress. Someone is putting you on a pedestal, Scorpio. They 
yeah, they might as well walk around with you in, in their hand like that. <laughs> uh, and um, they are in awe of you. They are in awe uh, of your beauty. They are in awe of the way you are. They, they see you as someone that creates and you create miracles. They see that you are someone that have a unique mindset. They like your mind. There's something they have picked up, whether you know them or not. They picked up that you have this, um, it's the way you carry yourself. It's the, the sparkle in your eye. They see you as someone very courageous. They see you also as someone very resilient, but they see you as someone that isn't taking any action. You are difficult to read when it comes to love. Again, a lot of yellow, my goodness. Yellow and blue here, yellow and blue, big, big, uh, yeah, two colors <laughs> here. Now, this might be a union that will get together based on common interest. That might be the way you and this person will connect or continue to connect. This might be um, how this person will reach out to you in terms of uh, there will be a, a topic of interest, let's say, whether it is, uh, yeah, full-time work, you're in the in an office, or it has to do with a hobby, spot, uh, well, it can be even a party, it has to do with a, a way they, to connect with you, I'm picking up, they're trying to find the best way to communicate with you, that, first of all, it's not going to make them look too awkward, and out of place as well. That's how this, so it's more of a, an issue of they are nervous, a nervous feeling that, oh, how, how am I gonna connect with Scorpio, how? <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how they, their hands are tied. This person could have number six in their birth date. This person could have Aries in their chart. They could be someone that uh, they're very, much into, let's say, what's the word for it? Um, lacking words, it's also early in the morning. Um, nationalistic, is that a thing? But not in a bad way, like, oh, fanatic, nationalistic about where they're from, but they they will give you a good uh, tour, let's say, where they're from. And they feel quite attached and safe in their surroundings, where they're from. They they appreciate where they're from in, in many ways. Um, and Scorpio, wow, I really like the energy around you great energy you have this energy around you in march end of march scorpio that is something is coming together regardless this is destiny now in addition to that you seem to have a very uh, like uh, the mindset of understanding that um miracles a miracle isn't around you and maybe this is something that is changing for you as well uh scorpio that for many of you that have not taken action or do you do not see love around you or you don't believe in love it says here to really uh, appreciate that yes there are miracles around you of course you can witness people's miracles but you will remember here, there is something that is going to remind you, Scorpio, that you have miracles inside of you. You are a miracle. You have miracles inside of you. It's coming from you. If you don't take action, it isn't about, uh, yes, you have things that, oh, this is good luck, bad luck, okay? You can go to the casino. Uh, you, can, uh, you can play your luck, okay? And in your work, you can also be lucky. In anything, we can be lucky. We can find a, a note on the street. But most of the time, it has to do with also, it is not a coincidence. It has to do with the, the way you think, the way, what you believe in the miracles that you believe that you can create. So there's the combination of when destiny meets the miracles that you can create, then you are unstoppable. So it is about finding and understanding and knowing that you have miracles inside of you that can come out of you and can be produced at any given time in your life. And uh, I think there is a shift uh, during uh, the end of March. So uh, I'm going to... Um, 
I'm going to clarify um, a bit, but not too much actually, because I feel, I really feel this reading just says it all. Uh, the writings on the wall I'm, I'm picking up, but uh, of course I'll clarify and I'm sure I'll go, go further than that. And um, Scorpio as well, we have the magician. You might be seeing 1010. Now, I want you to pay attention to the uh, what this person have around their waist, a belt. This belt here is the within the major arcanas. I believe it is that it is the, the one thing that is the most ancient. It's a snake that is around someone's waist. It's something about that detail. It's one of the, the most ancient uh, within the... Yeah, it's, I, can't, I don't know what it's called, but it's something about the belt snake. And you could find out, again, with the miracles here, Scorpio, and I can't emphasize that enough. With the infinity symbol, you, you are going to raise that. You see here, the, the tools are still, they're still on the table. You see that? Uh, I don't know if you see it, but yeah, the tools are still on the table. See, the tools are there. So that it means, for example, Scorpio, you could... You know, you have a, you have your if if you have to put your magician on your CV, <laughs> you, you could say, all right, I have so many years of uh, excelling in communication. I have so many years of of showing like my ambition. I have this many years about um, you know being in a relationship, and and I have this much money in my bank. Okay, let's say that was on your CV. But then, in addition to that, the see the tool that is up the highest in this reading the the tool that the per the person well the magician holds that's the wand of uh, the magician wand you know the one that uh, abracadabra uh, that's the wand that's the wand and that has always been part of the magician so it's something very magical about this card it it advises you here uh, scorpio as well for those of you that stop believing in or, or feel feeling that you're not sure if uh, what you believe in. Um, is it religion? Is it you? Is it a combination of that? Is it spirituality? It's something about questioning your beliefs uh, and what it is that is your purpose. And we have also the sun, uh, Scorpio. Also, we have the sun. So very strong cards. And also, I want to say that in the, the, uh, the nine of cups, it is a time for you Scorpio, to be happy, to find your happiness in life in general. Happiness, to me, usually has to do with health. That's my personal. If my health is good, meaning sleeping well, feeling free, all that jazz, you know, I could feel unstoppable. That's me. But very often, um, I think people in general forget about the health impact. So let's say, you know, the, uh, you eat uh, junk food just before you go to bed, but you might watch a nice movie with it. You have a couple of glasses of wine and someone asks you, what have you done uh, this week? Oh yeah, well, I watched a great movie last night, a glass of wine. I had a, you know, this, that, and the other. And you're like, oh, great. Oh, wow, you're living the good life. But, so yeah, you're living the good life based on that. But how are you feeling the next day? Do Is that a block to you? What's the difference if you, let's say, you go out in nature, you watch the sunrise, you watch the sun sunset, you, you put your phone away at 10 o'clock. How will you feel the next day compared to if you do the movies with, uh, with, with junk food as a, how would, what's the difference and what will you create the next day based on how you feel then? So that is kind of the key for you, Scorpio. It is you, maybe you're trying something else and then you're saying, oh, oh, I see, I see. So whatever, whatever it is to you, but it's something along those lines, Scorpio. It is like, oh, something that you're realizing and you're like, oh, wow, the miracle was inside of me the whole time. That whole time, this miracle, this, these emotions, these wonders that I'm creating, it was based on that. Maybe I woke up an early hour earlier and it's just something that you will do. It's something, um, it's a small change. And I saw the um, Nine of Swords in, in um, reverse. So you could change something about your habits, something about your thought process, something about sleep. If you can't sleep, 
You might just stop watching the time full stop after nine o'clock in the evening. And then you'll see what happens. Maybe that is the solution. There is something like that. Maybe you cut out an ingredients with food that you have been eating. And then it's just something that you Im implement in your daily routine that really will bring you this miracle from within outside of you in the real life. It's turning up outside of you, but it's coming from inside of you as a Scorpio. So that's quite a, a magical um magical reading <laughs> i i love this uh, this energy really really love this energy so who is this person that is showing up in a scorpio's reading who is this person okay so this person here could have a cancer in their chart See, this person is also, they could be, they could be very practical. They could also, you see there's someone on a, I can't even, like I don't have my reading glasses because I don't, but it's someone that is reaching out, trying to stop the train. Do you think it's likely that the person stops the train? Hmm. But still trying. And I'm sure someone will see the person from the windows. Maybe the next train, maybe the next train. Something here about a person enjoying a journey and accepting a journey ahead of them. This person, <laughs> Scorpio, is starstruck by you. This person see you as an inspiration. They see both your inner beauty and your outer beauty. They see you as someone that is a creator. They see you as someone that get attention in a good way wherever you go this person they um they are someone that is uh again they could go to the gym a lot they like to to, to go without a shirt no not necessarily this person could be in hard labor for instance this person um is someone that normally they take the lead in love so so let's say they don't have any um qualms about saying, hey, do you want to go for a drink? They don't have a, or they don't have a comes about saying, hey, d d call you just out of the blue and, and, and be flirtatious or just be quite confident. But with you, uh, Scorpio, this person, they don't know how, they don't know how to, to reach out to you. They are sort of starstruck in a way. It's because you have a different, um, you have a different personality or different way about you. It's like you are intimidating in a good way. You are not someone that is, um, you are friendly maybe, you don't like to show it. You um, carry your emotions within you, but you don't put them on the sleeve, not your sleeve. You wear white, which is, you know, you have uh, these, uh, is it passion uh, fruit, fruits or maybe it's not, is it? Yeah, it's on my tongue, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, um, it's something, of, uh, maybe, I'm getting something about Sweden. I, I don't know where I'm getting this, um, the crown that she's wearing. I don't know why it came up uh, to me as a, um, you wear it for the midsummer, I think so. So, so that I think is also around cancer. It could also be the uh, something royal about you. They see uh, you also have that. Um, it's like a bit hippie, bit into nature, uh, as well. So you know you could also be born that you know where the hippie uh, period was. So. This person here is, um, <laughs> they have an inner beast uh, when it comes to you as well. They, this person also, uh, <laughs> Scorpio, it's someone that, you see, they, they, are, they have a, there's like a beast within them. But with you, they know they have to tame that beast in meaning they cannot 
be flamboyant in the way they would normally be flamboyant because they know that you will not um, uh, blink, <laughs> bat an eyelid, bat an eye. <laughs> you, you just will not. Um, and again, they just see you as a no reaction. They just cannot figure you out in the way of coming towards you. It is because this person will have to, they have to speak to you in a different way. So I see the only way for this person to connect with you without sabotaging uh, completely is that they have to find a way to connect with you in an intellectual way. But this person, which is quite funny, it's this person could be practicing to be, um, maybe intellectual or maybe it's something the, the opposite it's something about being the opposite okay so if they're not someone brainy if they're into physical labor they try to do the opposite so they they put on glasses and they think oh hello Scorpio or they would act a bit like a geek it doesn't suit them which it will be funny because you will know that this person is into you or this is someone that let's say if they are geeky and they suddenly <laughs> turn up with a, a baggy t-shirt so you will know this person by acting different to what they usually are perceived as. And that's how you will know that this person is into you. And once they connect with you, Scorpio, this person will no longer um, be interested in their past. They are, um, they are willing to let the past go or their past behavior go. This person is, um, yeah, they're changing but there's still a, a couple of hurdles <laughs> left. They have to uh, they have to go through some kind of a healing as well. And again, and I'm seeing it kind of as a little bit funny. People could tell them that what's gotten into you, and they are saying nothing. They're like, mm -mm, I'm not saying anything. But they're like, uh, people around them are noticing that they're reaching out to you, and they don't. For some of you, they they don't know you, um, and it could seem very weird that this person is contacting you or trying to be around you and it's being noticed as well which is kind of funny because this person is sort of trying to to deny it it's more of a yeah it's a kind of a sweet uh bit funny <laughs> uh, as well this person here is someone that do want to give you uh, th this offer they know that if their uh, movement moves will will uh you know be successful scorpio this person and you will build a home together this person and you will 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 um, yeah become like a one. So they don't want it to look too obvious. But pay attention to as well that there are, there are no cups here at the moment. So this person, there's something about them mm, healing to become more vulnerable. Because I would say anyone that connects, especially especially with a, a water sign, there is depth, there is speaking with um, emotions, there is a, you know, there is a chemistry there that should be in place very often. Um, and if this person is just continuing with passion and trying to be too eager without showing that uh, vulnerability, again, the Empress, they expect the four king, not just one. So the four kings to become one. This person could... Um, they have wealth behind them. This person is someone that are definitely moving into a period where they could see rewards on their business ventures and so on. Now, there is a codependency issue around them. It is more to do with this could be family. This could be where they're from. So I mentioned this person is... Um, something to do with where they are from. They could be quite attached in a way they might not realize. It's, uh, it's as if, so this could be someone that, again, uh, if they are, regardless of their nationality, so they would like to be with other people that is that nationality. If they are without or in a new territory, they could feel a bit uncomfortable. So there's some kind of attachment they have to um, release. So, um, Scorpio, I'm just going to take a quick break and get another deck and I'll be right back. So, 
Scorpio, well, I already know what's happening around you, um, but uh, we're going to dig in a little bit deeper to verify these messages. So for many of you, Scorpio, <clears throat> there will be um, a happy family reunion. This could be a big family get together, good news in the family as well. You have children dancing. You also, again, are meeting your counterpart. You're meeting the one and that's what the cards are saying since this is also heavily a uh, love reading. But you have uh, attracted someone, uh, Scorpio, but uh, at the same time, you are heavily focused on uh, the self-love and uh, creating. I am picking up uh, also Scorpio, someone here having to go through a particular change. So if you're dealing with someone that have some kind of addiction, again, they're a great person, they have so many qualities, they are your one, this is a time for them to take that decision. Uh, someone here, if they make a, a healthy decision, let's say they stop, uh, they remove the devil. You, anyone can just remove the devil. The devil can always be removed quite easily, but most don't. So this person, if they have some kind of, yeah, something about uh, a bad habit or attachment they've had since they were quite young. So it could also be their ego or I feel, yeah, a mixture of an ego and, and some kind of addiction, but it can, it's curable because it's not too heavy on them. There could also be people actually that is around them. So Scorpio, you have a lot of opportunities ahead of you. Now, when it comes to the King of Wands, in reverse, you have someone that isn't confident, that is not who they say they are when they show initially that they are very confident. So it's possible that this person only feels confident when they are in a certain environment. You take them out of the environment or you take out whatever gives them the confidence. So that could be a way of acting. So someone is not, they have never tried to be they put on the mask for so long, as you see here with the, with the King of Wands, that they don't know how to take the mask off. So that's not uncommon. So as long as you know them, if you do know them, they have been wearing a certain mask. And then if they remove this mask, so that could be anything that is attached to them. Again, uh, could be anything from alcohol giving them that confidence. It's a, a confidence they feel, but it's actually not... Give, it's not real confidence, but they feel unsteady without. Something about this person, they don't know how to, um, to act. And they, this could be a, a sabotage for them. They have an opportunity, uh, Scorpio, to change that. So it is possible. It is possible that this person will come out of their shell uh, in, in a way as well. This person might have ghosted you or they go missing. This person disappears when when there is something that threatens their confidence or threatens their ego in a way. So then they go and hide and they find that comfort inside of their you know, hometown or a certain group of friends. But actually it's more of a false sense of confidence. It's not really, it's not really um, giving them the, the confidence they need. And they're not, they're not even trying sometimes. So that's there for this person. But I see for, for most of you, this person can actually change that. And you can make this person change that. So I see two people is that, I'll give you an example as well. If you look at my table with the, with the stones that I was scatter around, you might see the orange one here quicker because it's even if it's small, one of the smallest one you can see it uh, quite bright I think from the camera so it's something about that the problem is quite small in a way and um, it's something about focusing on something that is kind of too small but when there's so much else to focus on but they haven't tried they haven't tried to look at the other stones so Scorpio, wow, we have the Nine of Cups. This this is wish fulfillment, justice coming towards you. You finally, there's a gate opening for you as well. Um, it's a time you're moving into Scorpio where you also are prepared to leave someone behind. Scorpio, you could be someone you're saying goodbye to as well. It can be anything. 
really. Uh, it can be anything that you have. It's close to your heart, but something that you need to also give up in order to continue your path. But the wish fulfillment and the excitement for what's ahead, uh, it's also it's so exciting that you know that it's your journey. It is a spir spir uh, can't speak, spiritual journey. <laughs> Uh, in front of you, um, Scorpio. So for many of you, it can be um, is closing something from your past. That could be grief, the last part of grief, let's say, of a person you lost, whether it is hopefully not in reality. But it's you are closing various relationships. Uh, it's kind of time. Uh, emotions, right? We oftentimes don't have control over them but it's uh, you are going to feel at this time uh, Scorpio and you are noticing that you have moved away from anything that you were bound to that wasn't serving you by the way you feel so it, that's how you're going to know it's not so much of saying on oh, Monday morning this will be the last time I think about this person or think yeah it's more so that Monday morning you are sort of, oh, I feel so happy. I haven't felt this, ha felt this happy in a, a long time. And it might not be anything in particular that Monday morning, but the feeling you have on that particular Monday morning is so exciting. And that is going to be a sign for you that you have healed from something that has been holding you back. And it is not holding you back anymore. <laughs> so yeah, again, continuing to have really great energy. I mean, this is, you know, the word great and the word amazing and that what like, oh, when people say, oh, you know, your life's going to be so amazing. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, this, uh, this, in this reading, this has to do with your life in general is going in such a way that you are going to enjoy it as well it isn't just about okay you need this apartment to feel happy you need this amount of money in your bank to be happy and that all is going to happen for you and therefore you are so happy it is a feeling and also in every aspect of your life there are improvements and you will enjoy the improvements because you have let go or letting go of someone that is no longer part of your new journey. And it's going to come natural to you. You will feel relieved. So if there are people, a person that constantly reach out, constantly want to connect with you. And actually, this person don't they are there or this situation is still there but it's not really exciting for you and suddenly you just decide okay i'm over it so with the magician again a strong spiritual connection is coming you also have the possibility scorpio to really get things moving fast ace of swords the hermit the four of wands wow so scorpio None of you might not be here next month because you are going to be so busy living your best life. You are going to live your best life. For many of you, you are moving away from a love or a project. This could be a twin flame union as well. But you feel excited about it. It's just such a beautiful new chapter in your life that you will feel very, very, very excited about Scorpio because the feelings are coming to you naturally. It's something within you that is changing. It's the miracles within you. It's coming out and you are shining and you are glowing. You feel like you have a purpose now, Scorpio. Many of you are going to have a new purpose in the month of April, meaning that something will happen to you that could be, again, yes, there is a relationship coming in, but even more important, you are going to feel a purpose. And it's not a purpose of saying, oh, I have the relationship, now I have the purpose. 
it is just something uh, that is happening and you feel blessed and just having this uh, new purpose I'm getting. Your communication could improve. Um, your uh, health could improve as well. Someone is trying to find information. <laughs> they're digging, they're digging deep. They're Googling you, Scorpio. Someone is Googling you, but they can't find anything on you. I don't see someone Googling you uh, or asking around based on anything negative, actually. Uh, they just want to know more so that they can um, impress you <laughs> when they come forward. So many of you, there is a twin flame uh, union that was the catalyst to the next phase in your life. And you will look back and say, okay, I see now how. This could be for some of you, you'll be dealing with, or are also dealing with a fire sign. I have Aries. I have um, Leo. I am picking up here that it's possible to reunite with the twin flame. It has to do as well with changing the dynamic. This has to do with someone changing. If this person will walk away and travel away from what is keeping them trapped, and again, in this reading, uh, I don't really think it's a, a need to um, to clarify there. I, it seems that someone is fully aware of what they have to um, walk away from as well. So it's not about you persuading them. It's not about you saying what they have to do. They're just going to do it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's actually a really incredible reading. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a reading that keeps on giving. Yeah, and we have here. So your heart chakra, Scorpio, uh, green could be in your favor right now, air, Fresh air. It's something about you saying what you love. Maybe you don't feel it always, but just saying out loud what you love is important. It could be your, something about your heart is healing as well. You know, the, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Within your heart chakra, there is unconditional love, compassion, harmony and relationships and healing. So your heart is the link between your mind, the body and the soul. Balancing the area, it can take a while. But you should allow all the time that you need so the healing energy can get through and flow freely by loving yourself and others as well. Learn to forgive. You're going to be attuned with the spirits. So it's, um, it's a very much of a feeling that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, a Scorpio, people might see that you are changing, uh, something is different about you. You are also a fixed sign, uh, like Aquarius, I believe, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus um, as well. So you are changing something. You will change your behavior. You will change... Yeah, a lot of, there's a lot changing uh, around you, uh, Scorpio, and incredible changes. It is because you're bringing out the miracle within. And I don't even see any negative energies around you, uh, Scorpio. It is because also you're making really healthy choices. You know what to leave behind at this time to focus on you. You are not um, doing anything out of a, a personal bad interest for anyone. You are simply doing what you need to do to move ahead and be the best version of you. And you know what that is. See? With a star. And sometimes, especially with a hermit, it, and, and the high priestess, to go within is often the best. What do you think they do in the pandemic? So, many, so much talent came out of the pandemic because people were forced to be on their own. And what happens when you're on your own? Yes, you could go both ways, but very often, if you make the most out of it, a star is born. I'm getting a star is born. 
and someone here is with a ten of swords someone on a distance from you is uh, removing they're removing pain out of their life we have someone with cancer gemini in their chart now there is someone <laughs> someone here that failed to hurt you failed to be mean failed miserably this person will have no impact in your life but you will notice it the corner of your eye so for some of you you are dealing with a person that cannot uh, remove themselves from from uh, something that is going on around them if you're dealing with a capricorn it could take the longest time um i see also someone could get help uh with a mental issue that is going to improve their their um health so something going on around someone this person was once a magician that created a lot but something happened around the way where this person got caught into a cycle that is vicious again this is someone that thought that they if they stay in their environment what they love things will be better but they they had another journey ahead of them so they could have overstayed their own welcome in, in a way uh, and this person here is departing they are departing uh, i am picking up someone is departing codependency they are departing yeah just their community they are departing their old life they also see that there is no other way when it comes to uh, connecting with you, Scorpio, that this person, um, this, there is this energy around you, Scorpio, that is magical. And it's kind of impossible even because your energy, because of the life you have created and the protection around you, it is actually simply impossible for this person to come towards you with any kind of junk. <clears throat> and it's as if you are <clears throat> changing everything. So let's say you illuminated someone's behavior and that became something that you said, I don't want this behavior. I don't like this behavior. I don't see this person. Da 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 da. If that was the song that you were singing, you will attract more of that. But when you don't speak about what you don't want, and in your case, I think it has to do with the person, when this person was no longer a topic, you see here, this person have failed. Something has backfired. And it's very much irrelevant as well. You are rejecting someone based on... You simply are not allowing someone even to try to do any anything <laughs> that is uh, you know remotely negative this person have an opportunity now to uh, go heal themselves there is someone they could be dealing with uh, in their past here uh, they this person could have been very um very much superficial at some point they were all about the looks and how they could brag about brag about let's say they have the best looking person on their arm they have a you know they look the best they get you know they could have been all about that but that's this is that's not going to fly with you uh scorpio it is not you might be dealing with a twin flame uh, that is um this is their time to sort of look at themselves and change things and they could do this i don't feel i don't feel here there is yeah there's something about this person if you dig into their environment i feel it's more to do with their environment if you start digging into it there is probably so many cans of worms I, i'm picking up <laughs> if you look into anyone that uh, you if anyone that lives anywhere for their whole life, you know, people get bored. Boredom does stupid things to people. It's that kind of stuff. So they know that you are not someone like that. You don't take time out for that. You don't have this mindset. You don't 
again, you don't focus on, on anything negative. And yeah, it's like this person is, they, they're, they feel a little bit baffled uh, as well, Scorpio, because they're like, I think I read Scorpio completely wrong, completely wrong. So again, they could have listened to other people, small mindedness and, and yada, 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 yada. This person, however, is, I do see that they are changing that. They, they are open minded. This person is open to, to this change. But see, there are still, there is something that they have to, um, to let go of. It can also be an addiction. Um, it really can be an addiction and, and that addiction keeps flaring up. But um, yeah, Scorpio. Hmm. Well, this person here is taking their time. Starling. Carrying their burdens a little bit longer. You, Scorpio, have the one coming towards you. You have the one entering your frequency. So free, because you raised your frequency, you raised their, your vibration. You are living your life on your terms and no one else's terms and conditions. And again, I can't say it enough. Uh, you could be someone that eventually will give people um, insights, uh, knowledge, mentor even for life coaching. Because you have found magic and how to live your life in a magical way that you truly and thoroughly enjoy. Without being affected about anybody's opinions about you at all. The only opinion you have is the one you feel within you and that is attached to you know, who you believe in, what you believe in here, Scorpio. So it's quite incredible. I, I will see that you are about to really, really embark on a incredible journey. For many of you Scorpios, you could, uh, again, you could be someone that become famous within a year. Not that that has to be a goal. <laughs> it is something that you are doing, that you will be remembered for and you will be shocked yourself that you have achieved this you didn't plan to achieve it even but you will so yeah an addiction codependency so something about this person i still cannot completely and i will not continue because your your um your energy is just so amazing that I do not want to um, dig into spirits and say, tell me who this is. Otherwise, I won't leave you. <laughs> it is something about just believing. You will, yeah, someone extraordinary is showing up on your path. That is for sure. This person is um, emotional but not in a negative way, like a drink, but not too many. They have, uh, they're in touch with their feelings. They are in touch with spirituality. This person is different. You might not even um, notice straight away uh, how this person is. Uh, you might see this person as, um, it's something about uh, like closed, closed up, closed off. Uh, it might be because you meet them in a, a setting where, you know, again, it's like not where they open up. They might have Libra in their charts, Taurus in their charts, Gemini in their chart. This person is very wealthy and something that they will not show you is the wealth that they have. You could meet, for many of you Scorpio, meet someone that is amongst uh, the 20% richest people in their country or where they're from, okay? They don't speak about that. This person is not someone that brag about their abundance, but they have. This is someone that is very, very, very wealthy, but they are most mostly focused on the wealth within so for those of you, Scorpio, that do not believe in manifestations or you're giving up on manifestations, if you want to wish yourself as someone 
that have a you know certain attributes now is the time <laughs> it looks like by this reading that you have already done the work scorpio you have already done the work because i'm telling you the most incredible events is about to occur in your life thank you for watching i'll see you very soon